Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 555. What is pneumoconiosis? Pneumoconiosis is a type of restrictive lung disease that occurs due to long-term exposure to foreign substances that leads to change in normal lung parenchyma. Name some different types of pneumoconiosis. Different types of pneumoconiosis include anthracosis, silicosis, and asbestosis. What is anthracosis? Anthracosis is something that occurs in coal miners. This is when coal miners are exposed to coal and its byproducts, which leads to the classic coal miner's lung or the black lung. What part of the lung is affected by anthracosis? Anthracosis affects the upper lobes. What is silicosis? Silicosis, which is also known as grinder's asthma or potter's rot, is a form of occupational lung disease caused by the inhalation of crystalline silica dust. This is associated with people that work in foundries, sandblasting, and mines. Describe the pathogenesis observed in silicosis. In silicosis, the macrophages will respond to this inhaled silica dust and it will release fibrogenic factors which will cause fibrosis. It is also thought that silica may disrupt phagolysosomes and impair macrophages, which increases the susceptibility to TB. Silicosis is also known to increase the risk of bronchogenic carcinoma. What part of the lung does silicosis primarily affect? Silicosis primarily affects the upper lobes of the lung. What morphologic finding is observed in silicosis? In silicosis, you would see the eggshell calcification of hilar lymph nodes. What is asbestosis? Asbestosis is a lung disease that occurs from breathing in asbestos fibers. It occurs in people that work in shipbuilding, roofing, and plumbing. Describe the pathogenesis observed in asbestosis. In asbestosis, there is scarring of the lung tissue that occurs from inhalation of asbestos fibers. There is also ivory-white calcified pleural plaques, which are pathognomic of asbestos exposure, but are not precancerous. So basically, in asbestosis, once the asbestos fibers are in the lungs, the macrophages will try to eliminate it, but it's not going to be able to, therefore leading to inflammation and scarring. What types of cancer is asbestosis associated with? Asbestos exposure can lead to an increased incidence of bronchogenic carcinoma and mesothelioma. Describe the morphologic appearance of asbestos fibers. Asbestos fibers are golden brown fusiform rods that resemble dumbbells. So as you can see on the picture on the screen that they do resemble dumbbells. These dumbbell appearing rods are also known as ferruginous bodies. What part of the lung does asbestosis commonly affect? Asbestosis commonly affects the lower lobes of the lung. One additional thing to remember about pneumoconiosis is that with pneumoconiosis, there is an increased risk of core pulmonale and Kaplan syndrome. And the reason this occurs is because there is an alteration in the person's immune system and the way it responds to foreign material. What is Kaplan syndrome? Kaplan syndrome is basically the combination of rheumatoid arthritis plus pneumoconiosis. And that's why this condition is also called rheumatoid pneumoconiosis. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.